Taking a close look at a big concern for the holiday weekend, this is the red tide map just released by the Florida Fish and Wildlife about two hours ago. Unfortunately, you can see there's quite a bit of yellow, orange, and red on there. High levels of red tide were found in Pinellas and Hillsborough counties. Researchers found up to medium levels in Manatee and Sarasota counties. And tonight, we're learning red tide could likely be the cause of this massive fish kill. It's in the Bay Area, this time in Pinellas County. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is in St. Pete. She's looking into this and also talking with residents in one neighborhood who say they were stunned. It's hard to believe that just yesterday this water was completely clear. Today, Snell Island residents tell me they woke up to this. Thousands and thousands of dead fish, a horrible smell, and they say they've never seen anything like it. It's just unbelievable. When Greg Dunn went outside with his morning coffee, he couldn't believe his eyes. And I looked out and I thought, well, what are all those white dots on the water? And I thought it was maybe blooms from a tree that had blown off in the wind or something. I came outside and the smell hit me right, right off the bat. Behind his Snell Island home that sits on the Pinellas County side of Tampa Bay, there were dead fish everywhere he looked. Tens of thousands. 100,000 plus. Canals in the area becoming a river of white. It's a, it's a tragedy and I've seen dolphins coming through and eating the dead fish. I reached out to FWC who says red tide is likely to blame. This map shows where patches of the toxic algae have been causing fish kills in areas of Pinellas and Hillsborough counties for the past week. A USF forecast map shows the presence of red tide algae in areas of the bay through the 4th of July weekend. I asked FWC if the 200 million gallons of Piney Point contaminated water discharged into the bay in April had anything to do with it. They gave me this statement. Piney Point did not cause red tide in Tampa Bay, but it is possible that bloom conditions may have been exacerbated by these nutrient inputs. Meanwhile, Dunn says he and his neighbors are stunned. Whatever happened, I mean, it's, it's, it's criminal, and I've never seen anything quite this bad. FWC encourages people to report fish kills to them so scientists can sample water in the area and determine the cause. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News. And if you want to check the red tide conditions before you go to the beach, we made it really simple. Just search red tide on abcactionnews.com or in our free mobile app. You'll find a link to the FWC sample map.